Welcome to my painting class. This is my first painting class. Uh, it's a free tutorial on YouTube. So it'll be going out every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Um, I did a drawing one yesterday, so that's going out on Monday at 3 p.m. And that will be every Monday. So uh, welcome to my painting class. Um, today we're going to do an Irish landscape, uh, which was painted by Charles Lamb, a very famous Irish painter. Uh, who painted loads of lovely cottages in the west of Ireland, lovely landscapes in the sort of 30s and 40s. And he actually even built his own cottage in Carrero. This is called Ancabarua, which means Carrero. And it's a beautiful, bright painting. Um, and it's nice and simple. Um, landscapes are nice and easy to start off with. You can't really go wrong with them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dip our brush into some water. And I have my colours out here, so um, I just have some blue, orange, turquoise, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, black. We won't need too much black, but we might need to make a grey, so that's why I have a little bit of black out. And some bright yellow and some white. I might need some more white, but we'll see how we go with this first of all. So I'm going to draw it out, sketch it out with my paintbrush but with a light colour, because it's a very bright painting, so I don't want to make it too dark. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue and a bit of white. I'm going to make a little nice pale kind of blue colour to draw out. I think that's kind of, that's okay. So when we're sketching out, we do it really kind of, we don't want to be too precise by things, just get it down, you know. Here's our mountains. Lovely, soft Irish mountains. There we go. And then we have our horizon line. So we're going to continue with the horizon line. So that's down here. I'm making it a little bit darker than I usually would, just so that we can see it on the camera. So you don't have to do it this dark. As long as you can see where your markings are. So as you can see, I'm not being so precise here. I'm just kind of breaking down. I don't need to get down to map it out. Kind of. Now, so that's enough of the background. So here then we have our cottages. So this is our big cottage. So you can adjust things as you go at this point. It doesn't really matter. That's why we do it nice and lightly, so that if we do make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. You know, you won't see it after it's placed on paint. And so that's that one there. And then we're going to do the other little cottage is kind of hiding back here. And it's hiding around a bit of a stone wall there as well. And here we have the third bit of a, this could be a bit of a shed or something, you know. I don't think it's a cottage as such, as such. Okay, so then here we have some rocks. They're all dead out in Cairo, out in Connemara, loads of big rocks. You can get the one here. And then at the front, we have this lovely kind of stone wall coming up and down like that. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> and there's some more rocks to the forefront and a lovely, with lovely shadows. I'm not going to get them all in, but sure, that's okay. Some shadows and some lovely green greenery there. So when I start painting, I always start with my background and at the top. So we want to get the sky in first. So I might actually get a bigger brush. This is a little bit too small for doing the sky. So I'm going to get a bigger brush for the sky and I'm going to mix. So you really have to look and see what colors are in it. Now it's really pale, but it's sort of a little bit of a gray blue and a kind of a soft yellow. 
Okay, so for the sky, we're going to make a really soft blue and a soft yellow. So when I say soft, I mean pale and it's kind of grayed out as well. So it's actually mostly white with just a touch of blue and actually a touch of black. Now, when I say a touch, a tiny bit, just to make it a little bit too, a little bit gray. Now I've made it too gray, as you can see, so I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and a little bit more white. And that is probably the color there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Quite happy with that, I'm gonna put it on. Now that I'm looking at it, it's still a little bit too kind of dull. I'm going to add a tiny bit more blue. Brighten it up a bit. Get more white. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Use another little bit of it there. Okay, so now next I'm going to use another colour. So what I do is I take off as much paint as I can with some kitchen roll and then I dip my paintbrush in, swirl it around and then I clean it again. So now I can make my next colour. My paintbrush is nice and clean. So I'm going to get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit and some white because again it's a pale yellow. So I'm kind of happy with that. I might put a tiny bit of orange in. Yeah, I like that colour. So I'm going to put that down now. Now again, when I start putting it down, I can see it's a little bit too yellow. I'm going to add a bit of white. And I can blend it up a little bit into my blue. Now, I want you to remember that this is your first layer of paint. So it's just a matter of getting the paint down onto the canvas, one layer onto your canvas. So this isn't the finished product. So if it's not going perfectly, don't panic. You might do a second layer, you might do a third layer. Some people would even do a fourth layer. So it depends on, on how much patience they have. <laughs> and how it's turning out you know if it turns out really good on the second layer just leave it you know um <clears throat> so i'm going back to my blue again for the mountains now there's a little bit of yellow on my brush but it's kind of making a nice color so i'm gonna go with it so now i have this blue and i'm going to bring it right up to the top here a little bit too gray i'm gonna add a bit more blue to that. Now I nearly painted the picture. And I'm going to drag that down, bring it down here. And then the tops, the mountains are kind of that colour. But then they get really pale. So I'm going to clean my brush and just make it quite pale then below. Like this. Bring it right up to meet the top. Don't leave any gaps. You want to fill in your, all your canvas here. So you're not leaving any gaps as much as you can. Now, when it does dry into your canvas, you'll see little gaps, but that happens. That's why we do a second layer. Because you can never, no matter how much you try, you can never get it all kind of covered in one layer. So we try our best. Okay, so there are mountains done. Great. Now we can move on to, it's kind of like a distant sandy beach, sort of. So it's kind of got a little bit of yellow ochre in it. And I think it's got, it's kind of a warm colour. It's got a little bit of orange as well. Now that's kind of nice, but probably a little bit too strong. So I might add a bit of this mixture to it. Now I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to throw it down. And it really brings life to the painting. This colour. And again, 
I'm not putting the paint on thick at this point. This is my first layer. All I'm concerned about is getting a layer down and mapping out where my colors should be. So I have that. Then I have a little gap where there's water. So I'm going to leave that for a minute. But this is still the same color down here. It's a little bit stronger in places. I might add a bit of that. And put this in here. And then fill it in. Nice broad brush strokes. Don't get too finicky at this point. You don't want to, especially with the landscape, you want it to be lovely and uh, free. So that's our background, the kind of sandy beachy part. Now, the water down here is a lot stronger than the mountains or the sky. It's a lovely, strong blue. So I think it's very close to this color, actually. But it does, this is just a little bit too strong. So I'm going to add a little bit of white. And maybe a touch of yellow. There's kind of a warmth to it as well. Touch of yellow to it as well. Now I'm kind of happy with that. Might add another bit of water just to get it so it's not too thick. Let's start putting this on. Now I think it's actually even a bit warmer than what I've made it. I'm going to add a little bit of this to it, warm it up another bit. And yellow will do the same kind of thing. But I do love this colour. <laughs> so this is warming it up a little bit for me. And I'm just kind of filling in, filling all these gaps. And a nice big brush, because otherwise you'd be ages at it, you know, if you do it with a little brush. That all filled in and remember when you're you don't have to worry too much at this point but when you're doing water especially with your second layer of lake or the sea on a calm day the brush strokes go over and back horizontal they don't go up and down and in every direction and we fill in these little gaps here now as well So that's our sea done. So now that we have our sea done, we can move down to our cottages. And at this point, I'm realizing that there's a lot of color repetition here. So I don't know if you can see this, but the roofs of the cottage, the thatch cottages, are actually more or less the same color as we've done for the sandy beach in the background. So this makes it a lot easier. We just make the same color again, just add a bit more of what we've added before. And we can make our the tops of our cottages. So this is that one. And then the other one is a little bit oranger, kind of a bit more orange in it, a bit more brown, burnt sienna. So I'll put that one in there. Happy days and bring it up to meet your blue. So you're not leaving gaps. Try not to leave any gaps. And then this one here is kind of like a mixture of those two. So it's not quite as dark as that. So it's like that. Yeah, great. Now the white, it's very tempting to leave the white just, oh, the white is already made from the canvas. But no, not for acrylic painting or oil painting. If you were doing watercolors, you would leave it white. But we are doing acrylic painting, so we paint in our white. And I always find that white has tiny little bits of the colors that are in the other parts of the painting. So in this case, it has the tiniest bit of this in it. See, so you're not just putting plain white in, you're putting white with a dot of that color in. And it's amazing. Oh, I forgot to draw in the <laughs> I forgot to draw in the window and the door. 
but that doesn't matter we can do that so that's the white there and there and here and can identify once i've made the color up i might as well just be efficient and say oh i can see it here there and there okay and then the wall as well we might do the wall while we're at it because it's kind of the same color so it's just a little bit of that but lots of white and just fill that in okay now the sides this kind of shaded part of the cottage is actually just a grayer version of our sea. So we have the color that we made for the sea, and we add a little bit of white, tiny dot of black, bit of a wasp. <laughs> so this is going to gray it out, the tiny bit of black. And when I say tiny, it's like the dot, the dotting of it. But you see how it works. It does gray it out. Fill this in and fill it all the way into the back there. It goes all the way to there. And there's another little line of it kind of here. And there's another line of it here. You might want to do that with a smaller brush. Now, while we're at it, we might as well put in the window because it's kind of that color as well. And the door there. And now we can move on to our, oh, we forgot this one. This one is even darker than this. Can you see that? So we're gonna do the same color. We're gonna add a tiny bit more black, tiny, that's too much. And a bit more blue to make it a bit darker. And fill that in. But it's in shadow, so that's why it's a bit darker. Now, next we can move on to our walls. So I was cheating a bit. I did a bit of that one already. So I'm going to clean my brush. And at this point, the things are, the little units of colour are getting smaller. So I'm going to actually use a smaller brush. So I'm not making a mess. So this is the colour, really. We can kind of identify the colours now because there's not that many colours in it. So I can kind of say that this is, this is close enough to the wall. Maybe add a bit more of this. Maybe a bit of this. Yeah, I think that's nice for the wall. So I'm going to put this on. Now, no thicker than this. I've made this a little bit thick at this point. It kind of goes like that. With little white bits of the wall as well. And then there's another one here. I forgot to draw that one. Yay! Like that. And then the next, we have this one done. We might do another little bit on this one. And the next color then is this gorgeous kind of light green. So <clears throat> I didn't actually put out any green because we can make green from our yellow, which I think has a cat hair in it, or a dog hair. <laughs> and a tiny bit of blue, tiny bit, not too much blue. So mostly yellow with a bit of blue. And actually that's a little bit acidic looking. I'm gonna add some white just to pale it out because the colors in this are very kind of pastel-y colors. So when you're talking about pastel colors, you're talking about adding white. Now I'm kind of happy enough with that, so I'm gonna throw it on. So I'm gonna put it down here, it's lovely soft kind of green. in between those rocks a bit as well and I'm going to put it here at the front as well now and then there's the really important shadows these are really you know they're a big part of the painting they're anchoring the painting you'll always find a little bit 
of a stronger, darker color towards the front of your painting and it kind of it roots it. It just kind of anchors the painting. So we're going to add, this is again, is a, it's kind of a gray blue. It's a bit of blue. Bit of yellow, kind of a greeny blue. And it's got a bit of black. Darken it up. It's kind of getting there. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. It's sort of a petrol blue, you know. So there's warmth in it as well. There's a bit of yellow in it. So I'm going to throw that in. This is the shadow for our rocks. Put that in and it kind of goes down there at the base of that wall as well. And there's a line of it here. There's a line of it kind of under that wall as well. I'll push this a wee bit too quickly on. There we go. And actually that color is the same color that's in the door. So I'm going to make the door a little bit stronger here. Make the window a little bit stronger too. Now, and actually this is a, and now, lovely. So have I put a layer? Oh yeah, I have to do the rocks as well. So <clears throat> the rocks again are, okay, so we're going to do the rocks, which are kind of the same color as the house. The bells are going off here. So, um, this kind of lovely pale kind of peach color it's nice soft again they're lovely soft colors in this i'm going to fill in that bit of a wall and get these down and if it mixes a little bit like that it's no big deal and a couple of little bits that i missed there's a bit of blue kind of in here in the base like that so that's our first layer. I think I've painted, I think I've covered. What we want to achieve with our first layer is a map of our painting. So it's by no means the finished painting. It's just to help us next week when we come back to it to know where everything is. And next week we can really concentrate on getting our colors perfect and our finish really nice as well. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully see you next week. And please send in your pictures. You can do a picture on a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be on a canvas. So if you don't have a canvas, don't worry. You can do it on a piece of paper and you can tape it to a board and just take a screenshot of this picture. I'll put it up um, on my Instagram page as well. So bye everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Please send in your pictures to me. Email them uh, to onyadority77 at gmail.com and I will post them up on Instagram. And um, yeah, happy painting, everyone. See you next week.